Leo has had some colors lately. If you look real closely in the back, I love when I find baby turtles in my back though. This is great. I've never seen him like that. Hopefully he's not dead. He's not breathing. What do you got a machete for? What are you doing with that thing in there? What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video. It's been quite a couple days since I've last uploaded, but you know, sometimes life gets busy. To start 2024 off, we're gonna get more into the plans for this year and a little bit more of what we accomplished this year. Big thanks to everyone watching. Before that though, we, uh, we gotta get some animal feed load up because I'm out. I'm out of food. Let's go. Need one of these. Three bales of coastal, two TNAs, five all stocks, an emu, a bag of whole corn. All right, so that is about every other week. Here we are. What's going on? How are you? Happy New Year. Whole corn for the pig. So this coastal hay right here, I use it as bedding for the pigs and with all the rain and the mud and stuff lately, it's great to just kind of throw the whole bale in their house and let them make their own bedding themselves. Of course, pig feed. It's funny because I do this all the time. I just never film it. I never ever film this. Well, maybe once in a blue moon. By the way, eye is swollen. Check that out. I hit my eye. I didn't get punched, don't worry. I'm okay. But I did hit my eye really bad. Yeah, Happy, New Happy New Year. Happy New Year, man. And all the food is home. And Babe is hungry. She said no. And just like that, the goats, I've got a full thing of food. And it's actually starting to dry up on here again. So they have been walking around, not up in their house anymore. There goes that, they're eating grain. I don't like to feed them too much grain. This is more of like a treat. Uh, the, the hay is gonna go, they have a little hay thing under there. You see that? Yep, right there. And then they have a little salt brick that we bought as well. That's all the goats need to survive right there. He's passed out, dude. The boy Mango's slump. He's enjoying the sun. I've never seen him like that. Hopefully he's not dead. He's not breathing. Nope. He moved. Oh, he's breathing. He's alive. Your white shoes are probably not Yeah, it's probably not gonna the be greatest white. pair of shoes to use out here, huh? No. It's not the first time I've done that. On the bright side, at least I'm wearing shoes. Hi everyone. Good, good morning. Look at all our damsels. They're all nice and comfortable now. One of our last videos, we got some damsels. Let me take a look. If you look real closely in the back, see them all? Oh yeah. They're all over the place. And you can see a couple up front too. Up oh, there's some more right there. They're just kind of spread out. They're spread out all over the place. I need to actually get another water change here soon. The pond behind me is starting up at the end of the week. So next week, Monday, we're gonna start with this project that's getting the window frame set up and everything inside here done, painted. Y'all know how it goes though. When we start a project like this, it's always like that dead spot in between. And then out of nowhere, it just comes left, right, left, right videos. Bang, 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 and the thing is done. That's our predatory saltwater pond. It's roughly like 5,800 gallons, 6,000 gallons. As you can see, it's taller than this one and it's just as big. It is massive. It doesn't look as big on camera. I can tell you that for a fact. Uh, it looks actually way smaller on camera. But Danny, get in there. It's just big. Well, I mean, that's a, that's a big old baby mama. I'm four foot. Yes, he is. I agree. No, 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 no. said it wrong. What? I'm 12 foot. Oh. Taller. Yeah, he's 13 feet. Yeah. Good old seaweed feeding. You go, my children. Dude, that angel fish is so beautiful. Oh. Smoked it. Smoked it. It's gone. I got one more for you. I'm not gonna do the whole mice is feeding yet. That'll happen in just a few hours. Um, over here, I do want to show you Cornelius. Whoa, Cornelius! Whoa, where'd that come from? That's someone sent that to me. And then I made his name tag too. Look at that. Check that out. Got a name tag made for him. The American Bullfrog. Oh! Buddy is hanging out in his water bowl. Mega frog. But he made a little dungeon hole over there, and the plants are thriving. Doing really, really well for him. He's enjoying himself in here. Couldn't ask for a better enclosure. The freshwater pond, of course, is doing good. Our catfish are at the bottom. This thing is crystal clear one day and then it's got the quality it's got today another day. Beast, look how big Beast is, my goodness. Marijuana. Oh, oh. Leo's got a little bit of fan art on his wall as well. If you guys ever wanna send any fan art like this, it'll, I'll put it on this, no problem. Just make sure it's on a canvas 
and uh, send it to the P.O. Box, link in the description down below, and I'll put all your art literally all over, just like this. Leo has had some colors lately. I mean, he is a bright blue with a light red right now, and these plants are growing too. Actually, I replaced since this tree never wanted to grow. Look at the vines growing down here. It's crazy. Eventually, these are just going to take over the whole side over here too because I just put one right here, and it's already growing a lot. Uh, but that'll just grow down, and then there'll be two of those pretty much growing down. And he can walk on these, which is the perfect plant. One of the coolest enclosures we have ever built, and he's obviously living the life. Look who it is. My little rat hunters. I got two barn cats. I raised them in the house, and then I put them outside. And they're absolute studs. I haven't seen a rat at my house since. These guys are just going buck wild on them things. Right? I don't have a name for either one of my cats, though. Buckwheat. 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 Comment some names for our barn cats in the description. There's one. Hey. No. Sorry, folks. Paul's not a very good cat whisperer. Mia's not helping me. Uh, Mia's yeah. the one doing it, all the damage. <laughs> She's scaring them. Now, months ago, we made the kittens this little cage. They stayed in there for a couple months while we bottle fed. And when I mean they were tiny, they were... They were tiny. These kittens were so malnourished, they probably should not have left their mom this soon, but like I said, they were rescued, completely strayed cats. It's how tiny, it's actually insane how small. It doesn't really look that tiny until you just see my hand size compared to the cat. I mean, for all I know, it could have been the cat's first couple steps. Now the orange cat was my favorite because we used to have this little connection, playing games. Look, right here. I was been doing this voiceover, we got this the orange cat follow me around. We have a good connection, us two. And as they grew older, I trained this orange one to just become the hunter that he is today. Look at him. He's in his wild natural habitats. She's a little bit more skittish, but for the most part, she's good too. And I know she's starting to roam a little bit more and getting into the action. But I'm telling you, I have had a decrease in rat population for a fact. These cats stay out 24 seven. They don't come in. I feed them outside. I give them water outside. They do have a cat litter in my house just in case they happen to pop through the door or something one day and I don't notice it. They were inside at one point, so I know they know how to use a litter as well. But I've seen them go to the bathroom outside. I've seen how they react outside. I mean, look at them. They're, they're my barn cats now. We got two of them. We don't have names for either cat. So I want you guys to comment down below. There's a calico one, which is our female right here. She's a little bit more shy, if that gives you any ideas to name her, right? Definitely more shy. And then there's the orange hunter, which I've called him hunter since the day I've got him. I was always saying, I wanna name him hunter. But I wanna let you guys drop some comments and you guys name him. Watch the difference, he'll come right to me. See? Yeah, buddy. He's a beast. He's, uh, he's the alpha of the yard now. Right, Bubba? Yeah, so cute. Wink. And that is a male. They're both neutered and spayed. Took them to the vet, got all their shots, made sure everything was good before even putting them outside. And they had to be inside for like two weeks after they got their, their uh, surgeries. So after the surgeries, two weeks later, they went for their week checkup and then boom, they were good to go. And now they're outside. We got two barn cats, just specifically to hunt the rats because they were ruthless out here. Hey buddy, you doing the job. Thought I'd mention that. I had footage from literally when we first got them months and months ago. I just never did anything with the footage because I figured one day we'd make a video like this. If you follow me on Snapchat, you probably have seen them for like the last almost year and you're like, dude, when are you gonna make a video on these cats? Well, now I did. My little brother Tommy is currently putting in the coastal hay because it's muddy. It is muddy. It's a little bit drier now as you can see, but they're about to get their bedding right now. It's a good, good toss there, bud. Thanks, buddy. What do you got a machete for? What are you doing with that thing in there? Oh, cutting the strings. <laughs> Smart man. And they will make that all pretty much themselves at that point. And there it goes. You can already see they're going in. All right, now, before we get to the pig feeding over here, we got our food here. We're gonna see if we can get the Oscars and all the fish that you did put in here a couple months ago to come up. It's been pretty cold, so they're probably laying low, but it's worth a shot. So what I do every single day, I come over here, I'll just throw a little bit of food. Motion detected, duck enclosure. Hey. Here we go. My fountain, my fountain is very half out. Take a look, let's see if we can find any, uh, maybe turtles or fish that come up and try to eat. Just give it five seconds. Gotta love this pond, huh? No, we just need more fish to be honest. And it's cold, so none of these fish are probably gonna come up right now. It is. 50 degrees outside. There's a baby turtle right there on the bank, Danny. Where? My yeah. turtle type babies, Danny. Got that son of a gun. As you, as you can see, look at him right there. See that little yellow belly? He lives out here. 
I have a bunch of these in the yard. And there's another one, if you look closely, in the water down there. He might run away, actually. Let me see if I can get them. Is there any more under there? I love when I find baby turtles in my backyard. This is great. Now I might fall in, but it's fine. I don't think he sees me. Oh, oh got him. I got him. We could be having baby turtles, guys. It's all I know. I put some pink bellies in here. I put some soft shells, four to soft shells. Like, when I mean a little bit, I, I didn't even film it, but I put like 15 of each inside here. Um, and of course, some yellow bellies as well. And I just believe I found, much bigger than when I put them in, two of the turtles that I had put in my backyard pond, which is a good sign. That means they're definitely over here. These guys are going back. I just wanted to show you guys that we do have a bunch of baby turtles in this pond now. They're definitely making babies, and the fact that we just got two is so, so cool. Just on a normal tour walk. Getting ready for some really big projects this year. 2024 is gonna be a massive year. Last year, we accomplished so much. We visited uh, the Amazon. Got some crazy content in the Amazon last year. We built some of the craziest ponds the internet's ever seen, and that's a fact. Many of those ponds were built, and we're gonna build more this year, even crazier. As a matter of fact, this year, we're gonna have a full pool in my backyard. This is gonna be a massive pool right there that we're gonna fill up with saltwater fish. What? Huh? What? There's a lot that's gonna go on this year and some really, really big pond projects. As you saw, the 6,000 gallon, that's just the start. I can't wait to share it all. Subscribe if you haven't yet already and a big Happy New Year's to every single one of you watching. Thank you all so much for the support this year, past year. Now this year, let's do it again, 10 times better. I'm gonna name this guy 20 and this guy 24. 2024, let it begin. They're gonna live a nice, happy life, of course, out here in the massive outdoor pond. I need to fix that fountain. That thing looks like it's- Just jump in. Yeah, oh yeah, totally. Let me do that. Let me get right to it. Let me get right to that. It's only 50 degrees out there. Yeah, it is cold. Now, away from the pond and over here to the muddiest section of the farm. My goodness, you guys are nasty. Kun Kun, what I did just do is, as you can see, it's a little bit more drier under here, but once I drop that whole bale of coastal in there, they'll have a completely dry area to lay down. Now, of course, we got Babe as well. Babe always likes to say hello. Say hi, Babe. <laughs> So cute. And then of course to the front yard where we have Rick and Morty. I never really film from this angle. I'm always in the back. I'm always filming from the back. But today I decided, let me walk to the front yard and film from this side. These guys are getting so, so big. They are massive now. And they're only like a year and a half old. I've been working on some really, really cool things for you guys. This year's gonna be awesome. 2024, oh goodness, oh goodness. The projects we're gonna be making, the ponds you're gonna see, the fish we're gonna have. I'm talking on this channel, we're gonna see sharks, great whites. You name it, we're gonna have it. This pond is not mine. I wish it was mine. It's, I'm actually just holding it from my buddy Nick. He's getting a new property soon and he's, I think he's gonna set it back up. If he doesn't, I will definitely buy it from him. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that we have a lot of big projects coming. I cannot wait to share it all with you. Next day, koi. You guys want some koi fish, goldfish? Link in the description. Anyway, uh, this pond is a work in progress. I have, of course, my koi fish all inside. As you can see, they are doing fantastic. And of course, both of our iridescent catfish as well. So these, this is literally the only fish I have in here. Uh, right now, I put a bunch of lily pads, as you remember. They ate every single one of them. I believe it's the iridescent catfish that feeds on the that feed on the vegetation. Um, so, as you can see, the only thing left of my plants is that right there. But the front pond, I haven't updated you guys in a while. Looks absolutely amazing. So clear, it doesn't even look like there's water in it. So, we've gotten two new barn cats for the PC farm. I need your help naming them. Again, comment down below some names. Some big projects that are coming this year to look forward to is, of course, the big 6,000 gallon pond. We have another pond project that's gonna be going inside the building eventually, probably about midway through the year. Maybe if I can get my class through, we'll get some capybara or something. One of my dream animals, otters. There's a lot that could happen this year, but I could promise you it's gonna be the coolest and most crazy action-packed year yet with some really, really cool projects we're taking things to the next level. If you're not subscribed again, hit the subscribe button, smash that like button down below. I did literally just take a week off. I think I needed it, it was the end of the year. I was burnt, I was beat. I'm also hanging some more fan art that I just got recently. Two of the best ones yet. We're hanging those up on the wall right now, so make sure you guys send in your fan art. The PO box is linked down below, and make sure to send it on a canvas as well, or else it'll just melt to the floor with all the water humidity in here. I appreciate all of your support. I love you guys. I hope you have a great New Year's. And myself and the new cats hanging out here outside, we'll see ya in the very next video. Right? Look at her. She is so pretty. So pretty. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Don't, 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 don't mind the, don't, don't.
<laughs> might have popped a couple of those for New Year's. 